the light. A North Texas community comes together tonight in a night of prayer to support a family who just lost a wife and mother of three in a car crash Monday. Fox Wars Laurie Brown is at North Forney High School where a candlelight memorial just wrapped up. Lori. Clarice, dozens of people came out here tonight and you can still see many of them. Kim Harris's dad just told me, I can't fix it. Daddy used to always say, I'll fix it. People brought cards and lit candles at North Forney High School to remember 36-year-old Kim Harris. Kim was a member of the Booster Club. Her oldest daughter recently graduated from this high school and her middle child will be a freshman this year. Kim died Monday afternoon in this crash on Highway 80 in Forney. Her husband, 37-year-old Johnny Harris, was driving the Silver Dodge pickup that hit an 18-wheeler. The big rig had pulled over to help a woman whose tire had just blown out. DPS says the 18-wheeler was still partially in the roadway. It happened, it happened so quick. The truck driver told investigators he heard screeching as Johnny Harris tried to stop. They say you can screech uh, black marks on the road, but I don't, I don't remember. I just remember just looking over and seeing my wife, and I just lost it. Kim and Johnny were high school sweethearts. They got pregnant with their oldest child in high school and stayed together ever since. We've been married it was 15 years, July 7th. I loved her. She was really nice to everybody. The best ever. You can ask for a better mom. She was my son's backbone. Johnny and Kim Harris were taking a break from a fencing job with Johnny Harris's handyman business when the crash happened. Tomorrow is never oh, promised. Uh, make sure you tell your, your wife or your mom or whoever you love them. It's not tom tomorrow is not promised. That is the second time this week I've heard a father say tomorrow is never promised. Clarice, the same day that Kim Harris died, a six-year-old and her great-grandmother were killed when they were rear-ended. Broken hearts, Laurie. What can you tell us about the latest in the investigation into that crash? Well, investigators are still hoping that more witnesses will come forward so they can know exactly what happened, but they are not issuing any citations at this time. All right, thank you.